Michael KC9 PHK Kilo Charlie 9 Papa Hotel Kilo here today presenting another video on behalf of and in cooperation with 59 Radio. This is the 2022 to 2026 Technician Class Amateur Radio Question Pool, which is in the United States. Goes into effect July the 1st, 2021. Goes until June of 2026. Let's start off with sub-element T2 covering operating procedures. T2 has three exam questions which come from the three groups. First off, T2A, station operation, choosing an operating frequency, calling another station, test transmissions, band plans, calling frequencies, and repeater offsets. First off, T2A01, what is the common repeater frequency offset in the 2 meter band? That answer is plus or minus 600 kilohertz. T2A02, what is the national calling frequency for FM simplex operations in the 2 meter band? The answer is 146.520 MHz. T2A03, what is the common repeater frequency shift or frequency offset in the 70 meter centimeter band? Plus or minus 5 MHz. T2A04, what is an appropriate way to call another station on the repeater if you know the other station's call sign. That is, say the station's call sign, then identify with your call sign. So first, their call sign, then yours. T2A05, how should you respond to a station calling CQ? Transmit the other station's call sign, followed by your call sign, similar to calling someone on a repeater. T2A06, which of the following is required when making an on-the-air test transmission? you need to identify the transmitting station. So give your call sign. T2A07, what is meant by repeater offset? That is the difference between a repeater's transmit and a receive frequencies. T2A08, what is the meaning of the procedural signal CQ? That would be calling any station. T2A09, which of the following indicates that a station is listening on a repeater and looking for a contact? B, the station's call sign followed by the word monitoring. T2A10, which, what is a band plan beyond the privileges established by the FCC? That is a voluntary guideline for using different modes or activities within an amateur band. T2A11, what term describes an amateur station that is transmitting and receiving on the same frequency? And that is simplex operation. T2A12, what should you do before calling CQ? And that is everything on here. Listen first to be sure that no one else is on the frequency. Ask if the frequency is in use and then make sure you're authorized to use that frequency. T2B covers VHF and UHF operating practices, FM repeaters, simplex, reverse splits, access tones, CTCSS, DTMF, DMR operation, resolving operation problems, and Q signals. T2B01, how is a VHF, UHF transceiver's reverse function used? And that's to listen on the repeater's input frequency. T2B02, what term describes the use of a subaudible tone transmitted along with the normal voice audio to open the squelch of a receiver? That is CTCSS. T2B03, which of the following describes a linked repeater network? That is a network of repeaters in which signals received by one repeater are transmitted by all the repeaters in the network. T2B04, which of the following could be the reason you are unable to access a repeater whose output you can hear? And it could be your improper transceiver offset. You're using the wrong CTCSS tone. You're using the wrong DCS tone. T2B05, what would cause your FM transmission audio to be distorted on voice peaks? You're talking too loudly. T 2B06, what type of signaling uses pairs of audio tones? 
That is A D T M F. T two B zero seven. How can you join a digital repeaters talk group? C. Program your radio with the group's ID or code. T2B08, which of the following applies when two stations transmitting on the same frequency interfere with each other? The stations should negotiate continued use of the frequency. T2B09, how or why are simplex channels designated in the VHF-UHF band plans? So stations within range of each other can communicate without tying up a repeater. T2B10, which Q signal indicates that you are receiving interference from other stations? That would be QRM. QRM. T2B11, which Q signal indicates that you are changing frequency? That is QSY. QSY. T2B12, what is the purpose of the color code used on DMR repeater systems? It establishes groups of users. T2B13, what is the purpose of a squelch function? Mute the receiver audio when the signal is not preg present. T2C covers public service, emergency operations, applicability of FCC rules, races and ARIES, net and traffic procedures, operating restrictions during emergencies, and the use of phonetics in message handling. T2C01 says, when do... FCC rules not apply to the operation of an amateur station. And that's FCC rules always apply. T2C02, which of the following are typical duties of a net control station? Answer is call the net to order and direct communications between stations checking in. T2C03, which technique is used to ensure that voice messages containing unusual words are received correctly and that spell the words using a standard phonetic alphabet. T2C04 What is RACES? That answer is an FCC Part 97 Amateur Radio Service for Civil Defense Communications during National Emergencies. T2C05 What does the term traffic refer to in net operation? Messages exchanged by net stations. T2C06, what is the Amateur Radio Emergency Service, also known as ARIES? That is a group of licensed amateurs who voluntarily registered their qualifications and equipment for communications duty in the public service. T2C07, which of the following is standard practice when you participate in a net? Unless you are reporting an emergency, transmit only when directed by the net control station. T2C08, which of the following is a characteristic of good traffic handling. That's passing messages exactly as received. T2C09. Are amateur station control operators ever permitted to operate outside the frequency privileges of their license class? Answer is yes, but only in situations involving the immediate safety of human life or protection of property. T2C10. What information is contained in the preamble of a formal traffic message? That answer is information needed to track the message. T2C11, what is meant by check in a radiogram header? That's the number of words or word equivalents in the text portion of the message. All right, that concludes sub-element T2. Join us back here again next time as we will cover sub-element T3 and resume on. Please give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying these videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you're aware as we release new videos. Thanks again. This is KC9PHK. Clear.